Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. If there was a game called Who Wants to Be a Millionaire that covered only English, how much money will you be making? In today's video, I am inviting you to play with me Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, English edition. So we're going to have 15 questions. And of course, as we go, the questions are going to get more and more difficult. But you know what's the best part? If there's a trap or a trick question, I will explain to you the grammar so that you don't make that mistake in the future. Before we get started, make sure to hit the like button so I can make more of these videos. And please subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for your support. Thank you for sharing it with a friend. Really appreciate you guys. Okay, here we go. Okay, here we go. Let's get started with our first question. When you go to Canada? And the answer is last year. Which option is correct? A, have, B, was, C, did, D, went. Good job. The correct answer is, when did you go to Canada? Good. I told you, we're going to start easy and smooth. Now here we're using the simple past because the answer is last year. So we're asking about a specific time in the past. Next one. He was born March 1994. A, on, B, in, C, at, D, all of them are correct. Good job. The correct answer is in. Now, with months and years, we use in. Now, let's take a quick look at the rules. If you're using the prepositions of time in, on, at, we're going to use this rule where you go from big to very specific. So we're going to use in plus month, year, or century. So my birthday is in October. I was born in 1994. And I was born in the 20th century. Good. Then you're going to get more specific and you start talking about that particular day. So you're going to say, the shop is closed on Mondays, on plus days. And dates, New Year is on January 1st. That's a date. And then we're going to go to the more specific one and use at plus specific point in time. So exactly we will meet at 8.30. However, there's one exception that is parts of the day. So we say in the morning, in the afternoon, in the evening, at night. Now let's continue with the next question. So this is question number three. Let's see how much money you would be making today. Switzerland is then the USA. A, smaller, B, as small, C, more small, D, smallest. Very good. The correct answer is smaller, A. Now let's look at the rules very, very quickly again. Here we have a comparison with a short adjective that is small. So if we have a short adjective like fast, then we're going to add the ER and make it faster. And if we're using the superlative that is comparing one to many, we're going to say the fastest, okay? Long, longer, the longest. Good job. You just made 200 euros. Next question is for 300 euros. Which of these cannot be used as plural? A, dollar, B, money, C, coin, 
D, credit card. Good job. The correct answer is money. Okay, so we can say dollars, coins, credit cards, with S, no problem. But we say money. Do you have some money? I don't have any money. It's uncountable. Good, good job. Okay, now let's continue. This question is worth 500 euro. Now look at this picture. What is the right verb for the picture shown? A, pour. B, roll out. C, stir. D, need. Yes, be careful. The K before N is silent. So this is need. Good job. The correct one is A, poor. Wow, okay, so we hit a milestone. If you already got all of these five questions correct, you should be proud of yourself. Let's continue. Okay, guys, of course you can have a joker. Yeah, you can call a friend, you can send this video to a friend and ask them to help you with the answers. Yeah. Next question worth $1,000. Can we use the meeting room in an hour? Yes, you can. Eight this morning. A isn't using. B isn't being used. D isn't used. D hasn't used. Okay, that was a tough one. The correct answer is B, isn't being used. Now, this is what we call the passive. So nobody is using the room this morning so we can have the meeting there. So the room isn't being used. If you find this question tricky, you may want to check the passive. Next question for 2,000 euros. Which of the following words is not a synonym of busy? Yeah. A, tied up. B, overstretched. C, swamped. D, hushed. Good. The correct answer is hushed. Now, all of the other words mean that I'm busy this week. Swamped, I'm like super busy. I'm tied up with work. Next, 4,000 euros. What is the meaning of bite? Bite the bullet. A, finally go to the dentist. B, Face someone to clarify an existent issue. C. Decide to do something unpleasant that you've been avoiding doing. D. Be so fast you can even bite a pistol's bullet. Now, if you've been following me for a while, and if you know all of my reels and posts, then you should be able to answer this one correctly. Good. Now, the correct answer is decide to do something unpleasant that you've been avoiding doing. Yeah, you just bite the bullet. Which of the following irregular plural forms, right? So the first word is the singular and the second one is the plural, is wrong. A, medium, media. B, datum, data. C, Tuna, tuna. D, cough, coughs.
The correct one that is wrong is D. So here, cough, cough with an F is wrong. Let's see what's the rule. This plural is an exception, but with a rule. So if the singular word ends in F or FE, then the plural ends in VES. So for example, knife, knives, life, lives, wife, wives, calf, calves, leaf, leaves. Okay, so this is the rule. Now, when I say this, many people say to me, why is there a plural of wives? I don't know. Why do you think there's a plural of wives? Let me know in the comments. Now, the following question is worth 16,000. But what you're going to do is different. You're not going to have four options, but you need to match the vegetables. Okay? So let's name the vegetables together. One. Good. Tomato. Two. You got them here. Yeah, they can help you. Two. Pumpkin. Three. Now this one is challenging, but you can find it here. Good. Radish. Four. Of course, mushrooms. Five. Super pepper. Six. Guys, if you cannot find it, just look here. I'm sure you will know which one it is. Good. Six is beetroot. Seven. Carrot. Eight. We have the American English version here, okay? Super eggplant. Nine. You're getting closer. Good job. Super broccoli. Very good. Ten. This is a fruit. Good. Fake. Eleven. Very good job. Garlic. Twelve. Onion. Woohoo! <laughs> Very good job. Well done. Okay, now you made it to the 16,000 euro. If you had 16,000 euros, what would you do with the money? Let me know in the comments. What would you get? What would you buy? Okay, it's not a lot of money, but what would you do with it? We have only five questions left. Okay, when making beer, barley is to bring out its sweetness. Molten, germinated, growing, produced. I don't know if you know this word or if it's similar in your mother tongue, but let's see. Okay, so the correct answer is germinated. Now, when a plant germinates, it means it starts to produce small buds and sprouts, like, you know, like
What is the correct term for a child of your brother or sister? A. Sibling. B. Nibbling. C. Sibling in law. D. Step nibbling. I know, even the options are getting confusing. Let's see, 46,000. You can make that phone call to your friend, Google Translate, if you want. Okay, let's see. The correct answer is nibbling. Nibbling is the neutral word for niece or nephew. Yes, look. So here with our family, so when we have relatives, the people that you are related to, yeah? Sibling is your brother or your sister. Your spouse is your husband or wife. A relative to whom I'm married. Nibbling is your nephew or your niece, the child of your sibling, your brother or sister. Sister in law, that is the sister of my husband, or if you're a man, of your wife. So if you're married to someone and they have a sister, then that's your sister in law. And a stepchild is the child of your partner, but not your child. Okay, let's continue. Well, let's look at this symbol here. The above shown sign means end. It also means A, ampersand, B, asterisk, C, ellipsis. D, square root. Okay, it's 125,000 euro. It needs to be difficult. And the correct answer is ampersand. Now guys, these are some symbols that you need daily, okay? So here at, when given your email, yeah? This one is underscore backslash hashtag or number sign. This is quotation marks and ampersand dash or hyphen. You see, this is the small one and this is the, the, the bigger one, the, the one that is lower, yeah? Ellipsis, asterisk, and equal. Good. Okay. 500,000. These are the last two. <laughs> These are the last two questions, and they are tough, I'm telling you. The actor died after a disease. Profuse, procuring, protracted, prolapsed, disease. Now the correct answer is protracted. A protracted illness means to be ill for a very long time. Okay, now guys, this is like C2 plus English. Last question for 1 million. My guys, this is a challenge for me to actually read it. What's the meaning of? Sesquipedalian. A, incredibly strong. B, riding a bike. D, poisonous snake. D, a foot and a half long.
Let's see if you can make it to the 1 million. So the correct answer is a foot and a half long. Trust me, many native speakers do not know this word and they do not know what it means. Now, this word originating from 17th century Latin and originally meaning a foot and a half long, this word literally stands for long-winded words such as sesquipedalian, and one would think it would mean something really mysterious and fascinating. But no, it's just another word for long. Wow, look at you, you made it. Maybe with a little bit of help, but you did make it. I'm curious, how much money did you collect today? Let me know in the comments. And guys, if you're curious about your level, then you may want to check the next video. I have a level test for you. 30 questions, pretty neat. Three questions for every level. So go ahead, check it.